Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the Kaito KA346 emergency radio. It has the AM, FM, NOAA weather bands, plus an MP3 player, built-in flashlight, and crank dynamo. So we'll look at the box. Pretty much just what I read off to you. Picture of the radio. Kaito reinvented radios. It's a NOAA weather radio symbol. We have some information here. The band ranges. 87 to 108 on the FM. On the AM band, we have 520 to 1710. Weather bands, we have all seven. Speaker, power source, we have a 3.6 volt, 650 milliamp rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery. It's like one of those three cell packs. Uh, MP3 player, supports uh, up to 32 gigabyte uh, cards. So this and also uh, USB flash drives too. Um, I bought this radio mainly because of this feature and that feature. So a weather radio emergency with an MP3 player, it's like the best combo I'd want in an emergency. Just a great thing to have together. And some information down below there. Back has a picture of the radio. Side has a blurb of all the different things it can do and we'll cover all that and some of what's included. So let's go ahead, open it up, see what we get. Model number on top, little shelf hanger. Let's open this up, see what goodies we get. First goodie is a cable to charge the radio. I'll be using this cable because cranking the power is not fun. It says uh, for every three to five minutes of crank time you get 10 to 15 minutes of radio time. So not so cool, but in an emergency you'll use the crank, but otherwise I'm using this. Uh, let's see what else we get in there. Radio, let's pop that out of there. Okay, looks like the instruction manual. The box is empty. Okay. Let's see, we got a user manual. And I think there's a we got a limited warranty and project registration. So good thing. They include that. Yay for that. We have the manual. It's in English, which is great. Kind of goes over the basic introduction of the radio. What it does, all the features. Again, okay, we'll go over all these. And then back, more of the same. Setting the time and date, setting the alarm, installing batteries. You get the idea. A little frequency chart talks about the speaker again. Some dimensions, we'll go over those. Wait. Okay, so let's get to the radio, the fun part. Comes bubble wrapped. Good thing to see. And it's this really cool black. I like it with the silver theme going on. And let's go over dimensions. We have a length of seven and one quarter inches. We have a height of five and a half inches. And we have a depth of two inches. On top here, we have an antenna that extends to two foot, which is pretty awesome. It rotates, so you get kind of like a Almost a good 180 plus you got the that way too, which is nice. Um, you don't have it this way because there's a ridge right here. So it stops the antenna from coming forward. But with the radio sitting on it like this, you don't have to worry about that. And remember, bonus, it sits on its own. That's the kind of radio I want in an emergency. I don't want one flopping over. So it kind of notches and holds there. Here you got the handy dandy little strap. It's like a little mini Grundig. I like this. It's like my mini field radio. It's like this like little canvas style strap with like a little bit of full leather there stitched on. It's not bad. It feels good. So that's neat. Okay, front of the radio. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to let you know I bought this radio off of Amazon for $39.99. It's a fairly new radio. I saw it pop up and thought, hey, what the heck? I want to get this. When I saw it, it had the MP3 player. So let's go into the features on the front. We have a power indicator light, we have a charge indicator light, we have the LCD display, which right now is showing the time and date. Um, and then it says, I don't know if you can see that, it says week, 
uh, it says seven underneath. I didn't understand that until I started playing around. And that just means seventh day of the week. So just so you know, that's what that means. We have an on-off switch for the light. We have a select for internal battery and the optional alkaline batteries, which I'm going to put in here shortly. We have a volume, which is nice and smooth to use. A tuning wheel, which I like. It like has a jogging feature. It has little steps. It feels good. And it, I'll show you how that works. We have three buttons here. We have multiple functions. Um, weather band, AM band, FM band. And then when you're in MP3 mode, you have back, pause, play, forward. Also, this button uh, acts as your alert mode. The AM button acts as your MP3 mode and alarm set. And then the FM acts as your time set. We have a power button. It also has a sleep function. Kaito name. The speaker is about an inch and three quarters. Uh, right side of the radio, we have the dynamo crank, which I personally don't like using too often, but they're there in emergency. Here we have a three LED flashlight, a USB in, that's your uh, for your USB flash drive for your MP3 playback. We have a DC out five volts. And this is interesting how it operates and I'll show it to you in a moment. Micro SD slot, this goes up to 32 gigabytes. Line in, so if you wanted to use another device that had a small speaker and you wanted to use this speaker. And then we have a DC in of five volts to charge the internal nickel metal hydride battery pack. So neat, and the top I showed you, the bottom has these like little rubber feet here so it doesn't slide around. And the back of the radio, we have frequency range again. A little notch for, I don't know what reason, a vented cabinet. Um, here we got, it says clock backup battery, and then we have main battery. So this is, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And inside, you'll see the three cell battery pack, the internal. And then it takes two double A's for the clock backup, which is pretty important. Um, you're gonna wanna pretty much have fresh batteries in this thing all the time. This is a great radio to have in emergency situations. Just always having fresh batteries in it is a good thing for having fresh batteries on the standby because this pack's not gonna last really long. Let's go ahead and that back in. All right. So, features. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about flashlight. It's got the three LED. It's really bright. I like that. Very nice. Um, we have a the internal and the battery select. So what I found out. I'm going to show this to you real quick. On uh, you have to go to battery mode to use your Dynamo. Uh, I found out to start charging external devices. When you have it on this mode, it charges the internal battery. So I just want to let you know, I figured it out. Um, it might be in the manual. I was just messing around and found out. So I want to show you something. When you crank this handle, nothing comes up on the charge light. If you put on internal battery, nothing comes up on the charge light. And it's interesting when I switch this, it changes something in here where it gets it's easier to turn. I don't know why that is. And I go to internal and I feel more resistance. So that's something different. If you ever notice that in a radio, let me know. But we're gonna go ahead and put in battery and I wanna show you this uh, charging feature. Uh, we got um, this really ever popular Audio Max 810. I use this for almost in all my videos. Um, what we're doing, we have no battery in it. Leave the back off so you know there's no battery. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside here. Since there was no charging light, I wasn't sure if it was working. So I think it's just a feature they left off. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And um, we're going to uh, see if we can power this radio. So it should, as I turn this, turn on. And there we go. And it's showing it's charging the external device. And then I know I, I can't do this because I don't have a third hand, but I had my wife hit the power button on that radio when I actually played the radio while I did this. But once I stopped, it turns off. See that? So I just wanted to show you that real quick. So it does work. It will charge your external devices. So yay for that. Pretty cool little demo there. All right, back to the radio. 
I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Closer view. What's going on? So we went over the charging feature, which is nice. Next, we'll go over the radio. So let's go ahead. I'm going to operate on the alkaline batteries because, to be honest with you, it's probably I use this radio the most. So we're going to turn it on. Now I'm going to show you the sleep mode. So when you turn this on, you can see it's backlit. You hold it and you keep tapping. So yeah, it's a long press to get to this mode. Two inches in rising. The region. It so, at Wikigan. If you notice, it had its sleep. Front, at Turn it back off. So long press and then short presses to get to the sleep mode you want. And then you just wait and it should automatically take it. Ported 33 and looming 9. Okay, so this is our weather band. The temperature was 38 degrees. The dew point was and you can 27. scroll through them. The wind chill was 33. And if the I extend the antenna, of course, in we'll pick up more stations. Here is the forecast for the Chicago metropolitan area. Sunday, north winds 10 to 15 knots. late in the evening becoming north yeah, west after midnight. At one station, I don't know why it, Sunday, it makes that noise. It's at channel 4. Four. Then to four to six feet. Highs in the 30s to lower so, 40s. Gives you an idea. North wind Let's jump to, to FM since we're going to extend it. So we'll go down here. This jog's pretty cool. Um, you just, as you go, you can see it tuning. Now if you want to go over to Seek, you just go fast. And it'll seek to the next station. Cool. Has a little that I was Roman Catholic who is sojourning. Little symbol there for reception. I certainly found it good for me in knocking off a good deal of just sort of mindless tribalism. What profits now? Organization situation fatism. I was surprised that ISIS came in. So you can rock out. <laughs> this classic station here. Classical. Get an idea. Let's go to AM. Retract the antenna. Okay. AM's. We're gonna go through pretty easily here. Um, let's go ahead and turn this up. I think it's so neat the way you do that. One thing I don't get though. How do you make the clothes change too? And then you turn into something else. Eh, not very difficult. It's all matter. 
One molecular structure is much like another, isn't it? I guess. Speaking Twilight of Zone on 560, Jenny, Chicago here. Better start wearing cool. a dress instead of those jeans. I was getting Nashville earlier, around 6.30. So it must be easier for this radio to pick up around that time. Any other details? Casino... At Zoomer. Cool. Circumstances. Negative to say. Fifteen year old Bailey Nicole Holt. Local. Things going on in my community. Gotta know what's happening in my city. News Radio 840, WHAS. Cool. Alors, oh, les hommes. Toronto Station. On pourrait les payer, leur donner, mettons, 2000 dollars pour se faire baser. JDC, I believe. Moi, je j'irai jusque là. Not sure who 1020 is. It's got some video classics tonight too. Good to see that, like three, four stations doing that the weekend. Notice the clock is running there on top. Is send it to me, Johnny Rabbit, AMOX, 1220 Olive Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63103. Hold going to come in clear because it's not about 300 miles away. Go to Jerusalem and suffer many things. I'm guessing the song playing goes with Coast to Coast. They always play some like funky rock song, and it's like, how come I'm hearing the same song over five stations? Well, that's what it is. How important is it for the Patriots not only that he be able to suit up, but that he look like some version of the Rob Gronkowski that is really torn? Uh, that's really the. the Okay, that covers the bands there. Let's go ahead and go to our MP3 mode, because that's what I really like about this radio. So we'll go ahead and do that. Holding the AM button down. Some tonal characteristics of the radio.
<laughs> I love this one so much. <laughs> now, I do want to mention it doesn't uh, put them in alphabetical order like most of them do. It just puts them however they're on the SD card, so that's kind of nice. But it does start at the root folder and then go into your folders underneath. So always starts at the root first. And we're getting close to the main reason why I wanted an emergency radio with MP3 playback. And this is why if you're ever stuck in an emergency and you're without power for a day or two and you want to entertain yourself and cell phones aren't working um, and TV's not working because the power is out and just, you know, you don't have a generator and all you have is your, your radio uh, and your, this is your connection to your, your entertainment. Um, I really like this MP3 playback so you can play back some interesting stuff instead of just music. Adventures in time and space, transcribed in future tense. Dimension X. <laughs> In the beginning, there was Jordan, thinking his lonely thoughts. Out of the loneliness came a longing. Out of the longing came a vision. This is a good one, Dimension X Universe. If you haven't heard it, search for it. It's awesome. Decision. And now, here's Act One. The old ones are hard to kill. It begins with... A stethoscope, a blood pressure reading, an electrocardiogram, and an altogether... You know, what's cool is you can have all 1,400 episodes on 132 gigabyte card and still have room left over. Can you imagine? The question you had last time is all cleared up. All in all, I'd say you're doing fine. For a woman my age, you mean. Speaking from London. Museum. I used to love this show. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. The dome structure on the Thames, which houses Scotland Yard, is a warehouse of homicide. Where everyday objects, a package of cigarettes, a length of string, a linen napkin, all are touched by murder. It's a Gladstone bag. It's a familiar object. Every railroad train carries several, inevitably is another in NBC's great parade of new shows. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. NBC brings you Dragnet. So sweet. And this is a good quality one. Some of them are, you're not going to get the best quality. This is nice. You're assigned to auto theft detail. Here's another in NBC's great parade of new shows. Dick Powell as Richard Diamond, private detective. Another good show. If you want to listen to some good detectives, I love this. It's great. Hello there, this is Diamond. You know this business I'm in? My favorite husband, starring Lucille Ball. Hello, everybody. <laughs>
Yes, it's the Gay Family Series starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning. Transcribed and brought to you by the Jell-O family of desserts. J-E-L-L-O, the big red letter stands for the Jell-O family. <laughs> Presenting Orson Welles as the third man. And back to the beginning. So yeah, pretty cool stuff there. I love it. Um, one thing we didn't touch on is, um, let's see, it goes back to number three. It always remembers where you're at. Uh, when you have your alarm set, um, it will wake up to whatever station you had last or whatever you were doing last. So to the MP3 player or to the uh, band you are on. So just letting you know, you can tune to the radio station you want to wake up to and set the volume, and then the alarm will wake up to that, which is nice. Another thing is the weather band alert. When you hit this weather band, um, what will happen, you press and hold it, and it goes into alert mode. and shuts off the radio, backlight goes off, but this will keep flashing, and this power light will stay lit. So it does use uh, some energy on the batteries. It will drain them, but when it times are rough there's a lot going on you're going to want to have this alert going um, it's nice and if something pops up it'll come right through and turn right on so it's a that's a great feature to have and you just hit long press hold, hold it turn it off now you're back to your bands again to them via the internet at goldmetalideas.com so yeah um this radio let's go over uh final thoughts uh boy it does quite a bit for the money um i'll have to say i really like the build quality of the radio. Um, it has its little quirks, like the dynamo not showing a charging light that could be changed in the future probably. Since this is fairly new, I'm sure they'll add a few features that weren't there. Um, I can't fault anything here. The one thing it doesn't have is a headphone jack, but I'll be honest with you, in a, most situations with an emergency radio, you're not usually using headphones. Uh, so I don't, I don't mind it not being there. Uh, so that's one thing I noticed. Uh, this has competition. Uh, this radio is 40 bucks, and one of them I can think of right off the top of my head is the Sanjin, uh, the MMR18, I believe, the one I reviewed, because uh, it does almost everything this radio does, except it doesn't have the MP3 playback. Uh, that's the only feature it's missing, and the uh, other radio has a lithium-ion battery, which I wish this had lithium-ion, because lithium-ion, when you use a dynamo crank, it's a little bit more efficient charging wise because lithium ions can take a trickle charge better than nickel metal hydrides. So just a, something to think about, maybe Kaido will change that to a lithium ion pack. I'd like to see that, or lithium ion battery of some kind, um, maybe a bonus. Um, I do like the fact that this radio has the backup batteries and to be honest with you, I'd probably be using them all the time. Uh, you, know, you can use the internal by switching that. Uh, so if your batteries did die and you had to go that and Use the crank, you know, crank away and get your tunes back going. Uh, but yeah, this having that feature is great. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the AM band uh, this evening wasn't as strong as it was about a few hours ago, so it does change. Maybe the uh, propagation changed a bit tonight, but I did notice I was getting a lot of faint stations clearer around 6.30 versus uh, midnight. So I uh, just want to let you know that, that it is a good AM receiver. So overall... For forty dollars, is it a buy? Uh, yeah, um, if you consider the fact that it has external, uh, or sorry, optional battery backup, and micro SD and USB flash drive for your MP3 playbacks. Because I'll be honest with you, I would want some entertainment value of some kind in an emergency versus just listening to the weather band or listening to AMFM to find out what's going on. Um, once I know and I'm waiting and I know I'm going to be without power or if I got translocated, say I'm in a, you know, uh, what do you call it, a shelter or something with a bunch of other people and I kind of just want to listen to some classics, I can entertain other people too with them. So, yeah, I think that's a really neat thing to have. Um, so there you go, the new Kaito KA346. Um, it is a buy in my book. i um, really enjoying the radio. Uh, if you like this video, hit the little thumbs up icon. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, if you want to comment about this radio, feel free to comment below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And uh, if I didn't touch on something, let me know and I'll do a follow-up on that for you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye-bye.